generally speaking, it's a very good time to be both a PSVR 2 fan and a VR fan in general. But there's one experience that we're waiting for on PSVR 2 and in console in general that is on PC already and it's on PC VR already and that is Phasmophobia. Now whether you're versed in what Phasmophobia is or you have no idea what the game is, Here's the right place because today we're talking about the new update for console that we just got in terms of its release schedule. Spoiler alert on that one, it really isn't much. What the game entails and why you should be excited for it when it eventually rolls around, hopefully in 2024. If it's not in 2024, I give up. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. So Phasmophobia, let's give you the quick rundown in case you don't know what it is. It's a four person co-op horror game where you go into abandoned locations and haunted locations and look for a ghost. The main gameplay loop is trying to figure out what ghost it is, which all depends on what evidence it leaves behind. You can find broken objects, water discoloring, poltergeist activity, or the ghost appearing itself and hunting you down. It's absolutely terrifying in flat screen, and it's even more terrifying when you put on a VR headset and play it on PC, either by linking a Quest 2, Quest 3, or any other VR headset to your PC. It's a game that I didn't think was ever gonna get ported to PSVR, and I was right. It didn't get ported to PSVR, but it has been announced for PSVR 2 and all other consoles last year. Originally, it was slated to come around September, October time to coincide with Halloween. However, there were a couple complications. First of all, we were hit with the delay just saying that it wouldn't really be feasible for them to get the game working on time for the launch. Next, we got an update saying that the game would be delayed even further due to an office fire, meaning everybody had to adapt to working at home. That is completely fair enough. It's a very big change for a team. However, I don't believe they would have reached the deadline anyway because it's been several months since then and we've got no more news. However, I'm not putting blame on the dev team for saying they're gonna put out a product and then not delivering. Ultimately, this game is coming to console, but it's just on a very weird release plan where we don't quite know where it's gonna light up just yet in terms of when it's gonna release. And this is quite a small team we're talking about, porting one of the best horror games pretty much ever made on PC to not only PSVR, but also to flat screen PS5 and Xbox consoles. That is a massive undertaking. And I do want to emphasize the fact that this game is a hybrid game. So you can play it with your flat screen friends, your PC friends, or your PSVR 2 friends, or your Xbox friends. It's open to everybody. And that is absolutely awesome, but it is a huge undertaking to go through in terms of putting out there and making sure it's polished. That brings us to the very small update that we've got from the dev team, which is on screen now. And in a nutshell, it says that they're not ready to unveil even when the console port will come out or even a release window at all in terms of how many months it might be away. Just saying that they're still diligently working on it and hoping to put out the most polished product they can possibly put out there onto both flat screen consoles and PSVR 2. But in this case, what does polished actually mean? Well, Phasmophobia is the little bit of a janky experience on PC VR. Even though it is a great game, some picking up items is a little bit wonky and certain player models can clip through at times and there are some issues. I'm not expecting all of these to be ironed out or even any of them to be ironed out for the console release. Ultimately, I'm keeping my expectations at a level where they currently are in terms of looking at the PC VR version of this game and hoping that we just get that version of the game at a minimum. That would be fine. I would be fine with that. However, what I do want to see them incorporate into the PSVR 2 version are the PSVR 2 features that can make this game so great. To throw an example out there, I was talking about Ghost of Tabor in yesterday's video and talking about how that team has been promoting the PSVR 2 version of their game. And essentially what they're doing with that is showing off all the PSVR 2 features and little trailers over on Twitter to get the PSVR 2 community hyped up. Talking about how much fun they're having with the adaptive triggers, the headset haptics and the OLED panels to make the game look and feel as good as possible. And I'd want something similar to that, but for Phasmo on PSVR 2. I hope the devs do come out at a later date and kind of talk about how they're shifting the game and making it feel more real on PSVR 2. When you get attacked by a ghost, when it's in its hunting state in Phasmophobia, it does a cool animation of killing you where it places its hands over your eyes. Now this also happens in VR and it's absolutely terrifying, but imagine that but with the head haptics of the PSVR 2 as it rumbles as those hands close around your eyes and take you to the shadow realm. Things like that could be really enhanced with the haptics in the headset and also in the controllers for turning on flashlights using radios and really increasing the tension. Imagine when your flashlight starts turning on and off during a ghost hunt and your controller starts pulsing in your hand that you're holding the flashlight in, how intense that would feel and how it would heighten up the tension. 
Also think about how good this game would look and feel on the OLED panels of the PSVR 2. If you played Resident Evil Village, Propagation Paradise Hotel or Switchback VR or any other horror game on PSVR 2, you know those games dark sections are really accentuated by the PSVR 2's OLED panels where the blacks are really really black. It's not a washed out grey like it is on Quest 2 and 3 and while I do actually really like the experiences I've had with the Quest headsets, they are brilliant pieces of kit. My one complaint with them is their lack of OLED panels and that's to be honest a topic for another day. I don't want to get into that, there's a reason for it, pancake lenses are also great, we'll save that for another time. Instead let's focus on how good this game would look. When you're in a dark house or a dark asylum or a dark prison that's abandoned and haunted and you're shining your flashlight around, the contrast in those scenes is going to be so damn good. Ultimately, I think this at the end of the year, if it does end up coming out and is in a polished state, could take my PSVR 2 Horror Game of the Year award at the end of the year. That's a very rushed thing for me to maybe say right now, but the game has such high praise and has such a good gameplay loop, not to mention all of the good co-op features such as placing cameras around and having a screen in the van that you start in where you can monitor these cameras, meaning if a friend is heading around an asylum with their camera turned on, you can watch that feed and see what they see. Coupled with proximity chat, this game is like the perfect blend of Pavlov, Lethal Company, any other games that use proximity chat, Phasmophobia is similar. And an experience like that could be my favourite PSVR 2 horror game of the year if we get to the end of the year and Phasmophobia has actually come out. Although, as much as I'm really, really pining for this game and hoping it comes out as soon as possible, it's important to take a step back and say, okay, the devs are trying their best. They're going to deliver this product at some point. It's been announced. They're confident in it. We've just got to wait and see when it comes out and give them enough time to really flesh out their ideas Make sure the game is polished so that we get a good launch, not just on PSVR 2, but on all consoles. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you think about Phasmophobia as a game. What else have you heard about it? Are there any videos you've watched that really got you hyped up for Phasmophobia? We are going to be covering it extensively on the channel when it comes out, and I'm really excited to get into it when it eventually does. So, thank you for watching. We're going to be getting back some more gameplay tomorrow. I think I want to dive into some more PlayStation VR 2 games and kind of explore some more worlds with you guys. So that'll be the plan for tomorrow's video, I think. Anyway, thank you for watching. Once again, if you did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video.